up? Hey y'all, what's up y'all? What's up y'all? It's your girl Slim and the author in jail. And this is the Loose Lips. And this is the Loose Lips and the Girl Podcast. So we have a special show tonight. Special. We have show a special tonight. guest. No. Who we interviewing? Nobody. Oh, we got that yet. We coming on. It's okay. It's on the way. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Y'all I'm so excited, knows. y'all. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, yes, yes. We trying so, to get back in the swing of things. Okay, what? You got something? If you are new here, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, or else. She gonna beat you up if you don't subscribe. She sure will. Put you in a headlock like Tinkerbell again. You, you're not very uh, intimidating. I'm not. Yes, mm-hmm. I am. Anyway, get away. Fuck you, bad sleep. I don't even want to continue the show until we get the happy hour. Of course. I need my drinky drink uh-uh. stat. It's called Loose Lips and Liquor. So we definitely need the liquor or somebody need to lick her. But anyway. Me? No, I point to myself. Oh. Why would I encourage somebody to do it to my child? You're speaking in third person? Mm-hmm. That's weird. <laughs> Anyway, it's time for happy hour. So disrespectful. Are we gonna sit here and dance about the drinks and sing about the drinks, or can we go get the drinks? Okay, let's go get it. My lips, my are not moist enough yet. All right, let's go get it. It's a little parched. So let me let me cut the camera. Drinking. Yes, what are we drinking? I think it's called the Fuzzy Peach. You know, a little crown peach amongst other things. You know, I'm not really a brown girly. I mean, I am a brown girly, but I'm not usually a brown girly. But I'm just trying to try something different tonight. So, so this cheers. is a Fuzzy Peach? Yep. Oh, I've already been sipping out of mine. Cheers. It's good, too. I like it. Mmm, mm-hmm. mm, right? It's gonna get me fucked up. <laughs> Am I? You're not a brown girl either. I don't kind of like them. But... That's not what I meant. All right, so um, slow down. Woo! Yeah. Y'all know one thing about me. I'm gonna have me a little drinky drink. But anyway, it is time for wait a minute. On the last tape, you said, "Well, I guess I stopped drinking next year or something." But now all of a sudden, you gotta have a little drinky drink. <sighs> I don't know when I'm going to quit drinking, y'all. Yeah, maybe next year. It's it ain't going to be no time soon because the podcast is called Loose Lips and Liquor. So, if I become a functioning alcoholic, it's my mom's fault because this show was her idea. Anyway. I'm functioning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time. I love my drink. <laughs> okay, Kirko Bangs. I wish I could drink more often. <laughs> Wake up, drink. All right, so it's time oh. for the great fun. Y'all said she keeps her. <laughs> <laughs> Bloopers. <laughs> All right, maybe. Look, I didn't have many gummies tonight, okay? Cause last time I was. Woo, woo, woo. Okay. okay, let's get started. What you heard through the grapevine, girl? Let I heard through the grapevine mm-hmm. that Steve Harvey told Cat Williams, "Don't get it twisted, Shotty. You can still get the hands." Wait a minute, what? Mm-hmm. What happened? So apparently. Uh, where was he even at? He was at an entrepreneurship conference. Oh, he was at the, he was at uh, the, the event fest. fest. Yes. That's where we should have been. We didn't go this year, but it's okay. We're it's going next year. The yes. So apparently Steve Harvey was like, somebody asked me recently, when somebody was dogging me on the internet, on a podcast, 
see, why didn't you respond? And then he said somebody, but we all know he was talking about Cat Williams. Hmm. So then he just started to go off. Hmm. I said, because lions don't turn around when small dogs are barking. Ooh. Ooh. Now he did Not call himself a lion. A lion. And, and Cat, Cat Williams, Williams is a small, small dog. dog. Real Ooh. little chihuahua. Yeah. So hmm. then he said, when God has you on the path and you are clear that you are, wait, and you are clear that you are on a path. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> when God has you on a path, then you are clear that you are on a path. And you are clear. And you know God has you on a path, and you know that you're on a path. Then what else? I love having a grammar police next to me. What else? The Bible word says, stay on the wall. When they throw rocks at you, stay on the wall. <laughs> Who's talking about that? When they're coming for you, stay on the wall. Why is that stay on the wall twice? Don't come off the wall. Don't come out. Don't come down off the wall to address some little smile-minded Penny, Annie, and his hater. <laughs> and you will never have a hater that's doing better than you. Always know that. Don't get off the wall to address some Penny, Annie, ass boy who ain't got shit going for himself. Mm. You know what annoys me? What annoys you? People filthy, rich, then a mug. Can't put a sentence together to say that damn life. It just makes... It's it like was- education is not necessary to be rich and it's not i feel but like damn. patrick star reading this paragraph <laughs> i stay away from it that was hard to see it to his haters public comments on podcasts where the cognac flows as freelance and shit talk though he admitted that he wishes he could confront a certain shorter than average antagonist not shorter than average why are you trying to talk about that man height i'm a human being and a hood. And a hood. He's a hood. That's yeah. all like. Somebody, whoever did this, they just. I thought it was in the editor. And hood. He should have. He should have said, "I'm a human being, and I'm hood." Or and. Yeah. And I used to be a fighter, and I still got hands. They slow. But if you get up on me real close, it'll knock your monkey ass out. <laughs> I'm so glad we had her here to act that all out. What else happened? What else happened? Because you missed the part where he, where we know it's Cat Williams. He's talking about the perm. He said he's going to be the perm out his head. He said, I still know how to turn my hip and shift that way. And I will knock your short ASS out. I'll shoot your perm straight off your head, Harvey Warren. And his unnamed, undersized, and specifically styled enemy. Mm-mm-mm. Wow. That's crazy. Uh-uh-uh. Oh, now while Harvey certainly has the height, reach, and size advantages over Williams, oh, wow. he should be warned that his hater has hands too. What? They're just used to wailing on women and children. That's terrible. That's some shade right there. Okay, now. this reporter is obviously that was biased. Shady. Very biased. Cat Williams has my, hands to women and my children. My thing about that is Steve Harvey had all this time to respond. You're going to wait till you get to an event like Invest Fest where you're talking about you're there to help people get on their business tip, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you're gonna take that, take that, that moment at that to moment to talk shit about Cat Williams. You know this was like eight months ago too? This was like eight months ago. We are almost in 2025. This happened at the beginning of 2024. You haven't been on any place. Like, you platform. just now want to respond, nigga? He could have posted a video online, but it's like everybody done moved on, moved yeah, past Yeah, we done got about, he gonna do a spark that energy right back so up. So you didn't have the And brother. what makes him think that, and I, I, I'm i cool with Steve Harp, I listen to the damn show all the time, it's okay with me, but why he feel like he doing way better than Cat Williams? Cat Williams not broke out here living on the street, a homeless right. man. He is successful too in his own right. Mm-hmm. He may not be, you know, on, on the TV screen, screen and, and every and other private thing. jets and planes and stuff like that, but he does a lot to help other people with his money. You know what I'm saying? He just came up off a tour. Cat Williams ain't paying for his wife to stay married to him. That. That part. And he just came off a tour and I heard he was paying his ex very well. So you can't do that and you're not making money yourself. And the tour was sold out. Like 100 cities. And he had a Netflix special. And he's been in movies, on little movies. You know, he had little movie roles and stuff too. Mm -hmm. But, you know, Steve Harvey getting most of his money from Family Feud and probably his radio show. And I think Cat might still get royalties from his old shows. Probably, I'm, I'm yeah. not 100% sure about that. But I don't think sure. Cat Williams is a hater. And I don't think Cat we I know Cat Williams is not, not a bum. And he's not a bum. That's crazy. You know, he just felt like there's some shady shit that was going on in the industry. And, and Steve he might not that. like the way he presented this information, but he presented it the way he did. And it is what it is. You know, he was saying Steve Harvey not funny. And so that's why he had Oh, but KB. <laughs> Remember he was talking about Steve? He was basically saying that Steve is a country bumpkin, and that's the way he speaks. <laughs> oh, but KB. 
<laughs> yeah, don't remember that. Don't yeah, he he he's real country. He's country AF. His, That's so Woo, his grandma is so up from the flow up. Ain't nothing wrong being a little country. We no, from he's Alabama. a lot country. He's we a lot from country. Alabama. Anyway, he, moving on. But he has the bag, so it don't matter what he sound like. I know Marjorie don't care when he be up on top of. Give it to my baby. Give it to my baby. Oh, uh, mother, I love the way you do that. Baby, 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 Okay, Steve. Yes, yeah, Steve. I love you, Big Daddy. Mm-hmm. Give it to me. Yes, Big Daddy. Yes, you're so good. Oh, then when they finish, she go to the bathroom and throw up. Anyway. <laughs> and she go in the bathroom and think about all the money nigga got. And he spends it on her freely and well. True. True. Man, I she heard how they live. live. I heard how they live. I can't she remember who was hanging on it, but... um. There was someone hanging on it talking about they were over there and his wife was getting a massage and everything. I think it was on his old... Oh, Sherry Stra- Sherry Strawberry. Oh, that's, that's what it was. I think she was just saying that, like, when they come over to visit, Marjorie won't let them go past a certain point in the house or whatever, whatever. But you, I know Marjorie bougie, but, yeah, you know, course. bitch, you from the street. You can't be that bougie. You just married Will. You got lucky with Steve. I can't remember how that came out either. That was crazy. But he made a little comment on his show about somebody one time that we're going to change the subject. Um, he was saying something, something about, like, somebody called in with a comment or whatever on his show. And he was like, um... Telling the person like you got it, you can't have a woman that's not gonna be there for you. Blah 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 blah. But I'm like, if you didn't have all that money, I don't think you'd be married tomorrow. She just like her daughter. Her daughter learned it from somebody. I don't think she would be with him. He Opportunities. Oh no, for sure. I, I agree with that. Love. I think she loved his money. I agree with that. <laughs> but that's just okay. my little humble opinion. But anyway, go ahead. Moving on. So, my husband, little baby, was arrested in Vegas. How your husband? Y'all, when y'all got married? Um, a few days ago. When you saw his house. <laughs> Mom, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> baby, don't listen to her. I would not just be with you because of your house. She fell in love with him when she saw that beautiful house. That, ooh, his house is, ooh. His house is stunning. Amazing. I'm not speaking to all the time, but. The style. Stunning. They show what is the house wild. between him and Simon? You remember they, um, do you remember how his house looked? Who was Simon? Simon and Portia. Oh, hell. Like, the baby. Decoration. I want the baby house. Huh? It's not the baby, it's a little baby. Yeah, it's the I'm other one. call him the baby. It's the other one. Yeah, I want a little baby house. Ugh, my man. So, yes. She's um, talking about how funny he looked next to Why are you exposing me? Oh, my gosh. People are allowed to change Yeah, him. he was arrested in Vegas. What did he do? He, uh, I think he was carrying a gun and it wasn't licensed. But my thing is, is why do you have to do that? And your little baby just hire security, babe. Yeah, what was your security? Why weren't they carrying a gun? I think he was at James Harden's party. He was on his way to James Harden's party. And he got pulled over with a gun in the car. Why did they pull him over? Well, he did they see a black speeding. man in a nice car, or was he doing something stupid like he speeding? Was speeding? I hate when people are the know they're doing something wrong. No, they have drugs in the car. No, they have weapons in the car. No, they got something going on that they don't want the popos to see. Yet, they don't obey the freaking traffic laws and they get pulled over. And now you're going to create a whole other problem for yourself. That's a felony charge. Whole other problem. He was arrested on. That's not good. He mm-hmm. can't afford to go away for right now. He got kids he got to take care of. He got like two kids. When he had the other kid? The other boy is older, so that's not Jada's son. That's somebody oh, else. I, I didn't know he had a baby already. Mm-hmm. Jada and his other baby mom used to be going back and forth a lot. I think they almost fought one time, too. Mm-hmm. They did almost fight. Why would I fight? I'm like, bitch, I'm with him now. <laughs> you had it when you broke. You had him when he was broke, and I got him when he's rich. So why do I need to fight you? Like, But, I'm you know, like, if his baby mama out on platforms, like, oh, he's still... Be with me sometimes. And da, da, da. Good. Ain't stopping my bad bitch. <laughs> Suck his dick so when he come home, he too tired. And I ain't got to do it. I can just keep shopping online. That's how I feel. Next. <laughs> that was intense, MJL. It's the, it's whatever you, what? If I was in, the, the I this. know, mom, I know. I should have mm-hmm. got to be by. But the pint was 18. I, I cut it out. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> We're talking about that. Oh, wait. And then I said, what the hell was $18? That's not so sorry. But anyway, you know, yes, you if you... I was in Vegas with little baby, that wouldn't have never happened because I would have been like, babe, you should let your security hold a gun. I'm like, no, you don't need security. She, she probably would have held a phone. Why would you do that? Babe, hold this one. Yeah, I probably would have been like, okay. I ain't gonna go with that trying to bail you out on some damn gun charge. 
Why are you doing all that? Like y'all had sex last night. You don't even know this dude. <laughs> Mom, why are you trying to crush my drink? Let him know that you saved yourself a marriage and he'll probably want you. Well, then why would I say that? Because he'll want, he will want He you. will want me. Yeah, because everybody else easy. Me and want a challenge. Good. Now, I'll have you know, I wouldn't give it to him the first night or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Keep telling yourself that, baby. Keep telling yourself that. It'll make you feel better. I wouldn't. I hope not. I would, like, play hard to get. You know, like, I don't like him. Are you hard to get? Because you said play. I yeah. am. I would. Yeah. Hard to get. <laughs> <laughs> they saw me. <laughs> she can't even finish that scene the problem. What else? What else? What else? Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, yeah. no, okay, so Cam Newton, you know the the uh, football player that dresses really funny all the time. That's a big ass dude too. The one that fought eight people by himself and his hat didn't move. <laughs> beat their ass and beat all of them up. Like, is he a fucking oh, ninja? <laughs> is he a fucking ninja? He beat all of them up. Was like eight guys. Boop, boop, boop. Anyway, he said that he has. Eight children. He trying to uh, beat Nick Cannon's record and Young Thug, I guess. I don't know what's going on. Oh, you Young Thug has a lot of kids, too. Nobody care about him. He's sitting over there in the county or something. Wow. Anyway. Wow. No, Free Thug. No. How you know free he thug. ain't really kill nobody, though? He did. How you know? He, he, he killed Big Nut. <laughs> <laughs> she said it's so... Matter of fact, technically, like she knew, <laughs> like we know who Big Nut is. Who okay, is that? I just read the article the other day, and it was the guy who they're talking about in the courtroom. Apparently, his oh name God, was Big no. Nut. And what oh, I yeah. heard is that Big Nut was giving the Big Nut to Fonny Willis. Who's she crying? You know who Fonny Willis is. No, who is Fonny? <laughs> she is the prosecutor, and she's the prosecutor on the case. She's one who okay, brought the so, charges against oh, her. Oh, so didn't they like take her off because she slept with? I don't know what happened mm-hmm. recently, but I know that she had um she was sleeping with somebody that she had hired to do something on the case, right? But anyway, they said in the comments, they said that Big Nut was putting it to Fonnie <laughs> Willis back in the day, and then Ooh, at the time baby. he got killed, so that's why she coming out the thug now because that was her boo thing. And he mm, killed her mm, That makes sense. Okay, she has motive. So that's what's going on. I anyway, call him Big Nut because that's what he made you have. When y'all was getting it. Or maybe he has an abnormally Big Nut that's not cute. Well, he can't be getting out from nobody if he got a big old nut. Like, if, way. if somebody trying to say to you, you look down, you see a big old huge, like, that's going to turn you off. Maybe some people might be into that. Ooh, you got a big old nut. Give it to him. Your, your thing ain't that big, but your nut that big, yeah. Maybe it's equal. Anyway, um, so Cam Newton wants yeah, a lot of Yeah, I know somebody had a thing that long. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's if, you watch, if you watch any white comedy, all their things always look like that when they get naked. We know that. <laughs> like um, the gemstones. His thing was, he, he basically oh. had a coochie. He had a coochie. He had a clit. He had a coochie. He had a clitoris. <laughs> I am not a hoochie. Anyway. Okay, Cam Newton, what he said? Yes, Cam Newton said that Who he wants plenty of kids. He was um being interviewed by somebody, child. I ain't gonna lie, I don't remember Dr. Bryant. Name. Dr. Bryant. Thank you, Mom. Yes, he was being interviewed by this lady, and he was like, yeah, <laughs> so I want a whole bunch of kids. I don't even know why he want a whole bunch of kids. Like, his reasoning wasn't very clear. Because he think his wanted. kids are attractive. I think that's all it is. Really? He wanted for sure. Very, very vain. But he's like, yeah, I'm not scared of the idea of having a whole village of children. He has eight children, three baby mamas, right? Yep, but he is scared of the idea of marriage. I don't. Honestly, he didn't really say why he was scared of marriage either. Most Um, men are. (laughs) Men are not afraid of marriage. Men are afraid of having to give up all this excess coochie out here on the side. Yeah, I guess I I understand that. I think that's what it is. I don't understand it. You're going to bust the same nut. With a hundred women, a thousand women, by yourself, or with your one partner. Okay, actually, it's the same ending. I don't know why every I say time. that. I don't understand it. I don't know why I say that. I just was eager to drink my drink again. But um, <laughs> uh, Brian, Doctor Brian, did bring up the fact that you know you're about to be creating. No, he already has. Yes, a bunch of um broken homes. <laughs> you gonna say unwed mothers? What are you gonna say? Like you can say unwed mothers, unmarried women. 
That and broken homes. Broken homes. That's so sad. Like, yes, okay, you might provide for them financially. You might exactly. pop in and visit them. But the home but is that's still it. broken, babe. Pop in and visit. Pop you in can't pop put out. that time in with you got a child here, there, and everywhere. How you going to get all The only person that can do that in? is DJ Envy. Anybody else, it's not possible. DJ Envy lives with all his children, though. That's why he can do that. That's why he gets adequate time in. But he if you have... Kids. But that, with one person in the same household... Kia, I know her coochie is just blue out. Hey, Kia. <laughs> you got to sew it together. Then you use kegels, don't you? Don't she probably does. Kids. Way too many kids, babe. The coochie is designed to snap me. She got to use her butt now because her coochie is just blue out. Anyway. <laughs> blue. Blue. He blew it up. Blue out. And then if he got a small thing. Blown out. Blown out? If he got a small thing, then. Then maybe he's not. I'm obsessed with small things. You are? Yeah. I think they should be banned. You say you're obsessed with them, though. I'm obsessed with them I in a, a negative way, though. Like, I, I want them to be banned. I Let's look up be... if obsessed has a negative connotation. <laughs> oh, man, obsessed does. don't never have a positive so connotation. Why you, can you be obsessed with something? I'm you obsessed hate? with getting rid of small peas. Can you be obsessed? <laughs> With something you, you know what? You know what? No man, I'm not even against the small pins. I'm against these Negroes who thing don't work, and they be trying. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on the that. The ED, time. she's an ED detective. <laughs> Y'all be going around <laughs> looking for me who can't get it up. Okay, fine, mom, you got it. Yes, people can become obsessed with things they hate, such as people who have wronged exactly you. have little pins wronged you. <laughs> I just think they shouldn't exist. Hmm. Why are men with little penis always trying to cheat on you too? You should be embarrassed. You shouldn't even want nobody oh, to see gee, that thing. That's so true. My friend knows a guy back in Montgomery and he sleeps with the entire city, but he has a micro penis. You're not embarrassed, babe. And they cheat. I almost said his name. I know somebody that cheated on his wife. <laughs> Tried to. With a little old penis. <laughs> Dang, that's just horrible. OMG. OMG. I just want to know why men who whose thing don't work properly mm -hmm. cheat. And men with little penises cheat. And men with uncircumcised little penises. You mean a turtleneck? And it don't work. Turtleneck D? You ever met somebody with you a small that. penis ooh, ooh. with a turtleneck on it? With a red tile this one. Ignore that, guys. Who, who, who digging in your DMs? Oh, I said, no. who? <laughs> I mean, oh, no one. I caught myself. Can I catch myself, Mom? All right, let's move on. Um, So now it is time for the... That's, all, that's all the story you had? <laughs> yes, I told you I only had three stories. You didn't even elaborate on that one. <laughs> I don't know what kind of report you were doing. How do you have a communication degree and you can't even report your story properly? I mean, he want to have a bunch of kids, but he don't want to get married. That's really it. She said he's creating a bunch What's of What's your thoughts out. on that? <laughs> what are your thoughts on that? I don't know why he ain't his big cannon bag. No, I don't agree with that. Y'all need, need to stop. Y'all need to stop bringing these children into this crazy ass world too. Just slang your dick everywhere. Do you? You want to slang your dick everywhere? You want to populate the, the world, but you don't want to marry somebody. You think that's a bigger responsibility to be married to somebody versus making all these children in this crazy. Fucked up ass world. Like, right. That's you know. like when, that's almost like when people sleep with somebody, but they're like, I can't kiss you. That's too personal. But you will stick your like private parts in them? Yeah. Raw. But kissing, oh no, that's just too much. I know somebody that was like that. I know a lot of people like that. I think it was my brother. But anyway. I know a lot of people like that, actually. I don't kiss. I don't kiss. But you put your mouth down there on, on their thing. And that too. On their booty hole. But you won't kiss me in the mouth? That's crazy. You stupid. <laughs> You so fucking stupid. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I don't get me pissed off up in here. I'm so sorry. That wasn't the goal. Yeah, Cam Newton. Like, mm, you mm. tripping? You somebody need to snip that thing in your sleep because you tripping, babe. Do you even remember all of their names? Do you remember all of their birthdays? Are you gonna be able to show up to all the practices? No. Okay, so I feel like you're giving him enough energy. Yeah, we don't want him on energy. What you trying? You trying to switch over now? You trying to throw me a bunch of me? You? Mm -hmm. mm. It's my time. So now that we've done with the grapevine, it's time for the 
Tipsy, tipsy reporter. reporter. Are you tipsy? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have took my gun, but I got it later. I thought you were going to. I was so high. I thought you went in there. So I thought you went in there to hit the blizzy. What blizzy? I'm busy. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> All right, guys. It is now time for the tips reporter. Are you tipsy? Enough. And I hate to do this to y'all, but when you, whenever you're reporting news about anything that's going on in America, it's gonna be tragic. It's gonna be sad. Unfortunately, I can't help that. Oh gosh, it's gonna be yeah, some sad. it's gonna be some sad, but there's a point to it though. But nasty dancing was playing in my head. Okay, take nasty dance out, cause I'm about to make you lose your erection right now. Okay. I don't. First story that I'm going to report on. This happened um, around oh, August gosh. the 25th. Don't. Excuse me. Don't get all sad. There's a point to this. Okay. I'm gonna get to that point in a minute. Well, the first story. Um, that I have for you guys today. 11 year old admits to drowning an 8 year old boy. Right? An 11 year old boy. Two boys have been charged in the May drowning death of 8 year old Noah Bush in Jessup, Georgia. WSB TV reports citing lawyers that an unnamed 11 year old admitted to taking Bush down to a borrow pit full of water and held his head under the water while he drowned. The boy was charged and sentenced to only two years, two years in a crazy. detention facility. <clears throat> this 11 year old admitted under oath, he in fact led Noah Bush down to the clay pits, pushed him into the water and ultimately held his head under the water until he drowned, right? That's the first story. The mom said, <clears throat> my baby was eight years old with a full life ahead of him. Eight years old, eight. And an 11 year old boy. Who was that? The 8 year old or the 11? That's the one who was drowned. That's the mm. one who was killed. Mm -mm. You can put a picture up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, she said her baby was, she, he had a full life ahead of him. He was only 8. He hadn't even started to live yet. You know what I'm saying? That's one story I had. And like I said, just be patient with me. That's the point of this. I'm going to jump to another story. But this first one, like I said, and it was another boy with the 11 year old. There was a 10 year old boy also that was with him. Okay. Okay, I, I see that right here. It says the outlet reports that another unnamed boy, age 10, he received a two year sentence of confinement for his role in concealing the death and for trespassing. Both boys received the maximum sentences for juveniles and were sentenced in July. The I feel like they two should have. But they, they didn't um, charge them as adults, they, they charged should've. them as juveniles. They should have. Mm hmm. And then I thought when you get sentenced to a juvenile facility, you have to stay there until you're 18, 18. and then released. Um, so let me see what that says. But anyway, maybe they are going to keep the 11-year-old um, until he turns 18. But it's saying he only got two years. I know it said the 10-year-old, but I guess they gave him two years for just participating, and then they gave the other boy. That don't make sense. They didn't even give, they should have at least kept him there until he turned 18. Damn. Like, is he going to learn from what he did? He only gets two years in prison. Okay, let me jump over to something in Humboldt, Texas. This happened back in July, too. A 12-year-old girl in Tennessee has been charged with murder, accused of smothering her eight-year-old cousin oh, yeah. um, as the younger girl slept. A relative said they had been arguing over, arguing over an iPhone. The security camera recorded the killing inside the bedroom they shared on July 15 in Hum Humboldt. The recording shows the older child using the bed, using bedding to suffocate her cousin as the younger girl slept in the top bunk. <laughs> That's terrible, I can't even go on after that. After the child died, the juvenile cleaned up the victim and repositioned, repositioned her body. Mm -mm -mm. That is so terrible. The girl was charged with first degree murder and tampering with evidence after authorities obtained the video on Wednesday. I consider this to be one of the most disturb disturbing violent acts committed um, by either an adult or juvenile that um, my office has prosecuted. That's what the attorney said. Um, he said that uh, he would petition a judge to prosecute the girl who turns 13 later this month in adult court, mm -hmm. which would allow for a lengthier sentence. 
whether that would be through incarceration or a supervised with court order visit, um, court order conditions. Come on now. Yeah. So I feel like both of them should be charged as adults because yeah. do you really? You know, you know better. Do you really want these children back out on the street? If right. you're if you're 11 years old and you're capable of com- tricking somebody to come with you because you know what you're gonna do, you know you're gonna kill them. Tricking them to come with you, putting their head under the water, and then you're holding their heads under the until water they until they it. die. And then you lie about it and try to cover it up. And then also as a 12-year-old, your cousin's asleep. You got to think, I'm going to go kill her because I want that iPhone. So you're going to go and hold a cover of her head. The little girl was fighting. You held it until she stopped moving. And then you went, I think they said the girl urinated on herself and stuff. So then she went to clean up the scene after. I don't ever want these kids back out on the street. I don't care what nobody says. Yeah. I agree with that. That is to have that mindset at that age. That's ridiculous. That is. And I got one more story, and I'm gonna get to my point. Okay, in Dalton, Georgia, this just happened recently. A 16-year-old boy has been arrested on murder charges after three men and a 17-year-old boy were found dead in a park near the north edge of Dalton, Georgia. He got three people by himself. Yep, I think it was four people. The teenager from Rome, Georgia, faces four counts of felony murder, Whitfield County. Sheriff Scott Chitwood told uh, reporters at a Sunday evening news conference. Deputies were called to Pleasant Grove Park around 11.15 p.m. Saturday after reports of shots being fired. When they arrived, they found four dead Hispanic males, authorities said. The victims were two men from Dalton, ages 19 and 21, and two males from Rome, who were 17 and 18. The motive appears to have been a robbery, possibly involving some contraband that was found in a vehicle, the sheriff said. Mm. So, we have a 16-year-old murderer, we have a, an 11-year-old murderer, and a 10-year-old covering up the murder, and we have a 12-year-old murderer, murderer as well, right? I want to know what her goal was, or what she thought would happen after this girl died. She thought she was going to be able to just get the iPhone, and everybody yeah. was going to move on, nobody mm-hmm. was going to care if the girl was dead. Well, everybody was going to care, and they were going to be doing the funeral arrangements and all that, but she was going to have the iPhone. Nobody was going to suspect her, and nobody... Probably still wouldn't suspect her if they didn't have a video. A video, yeah. Isn't that crazy? You have a video in the bedroom, though, I mean, where the kids are. That's I'm, not common. That isn't common, but I'm glad grandma thought that. Yes, and they were visiting their grandma. They didn't even live there. They were visiting. That is so sad. But my point being, the reason why I wanted to talk about those three stories because I want to get to the fact that all of these crimes were committed by children. And it brings me to um, what they wanted to do in Texas. Um, Texas Senate recently passed a bill that would require the prominent display of the Ten Commandments in public school classrooms. That's sparking a debate over the role of religion in schools and parental rights. Similarly, Louisiana has also passed a law requiring all public schools to display the Ten Commandments in every classroom with a context um, statement. Now, I wanted to talk about those three stories to get to that story. Because I am so for the Ten Commandments being in classrooms. Because apparently, parents at home are not, not telling their kids. children, thou shalt not kill. You would think that that's common sense, but you can't assume that anymore. Not, not the way the, everything is going on in the world right now. These kids are different. They are different. Can they I, don't respect can authority. Can turn the phone on? But yeah, that's that's the reason why I want to talk about those stories. You have these children now with no moral compass coming up in the world. Don't respect their elders, don't respect their peers, nobody. We need the Ten Commandments not only in schools, we need them plastered all over the fucking sidewalks, all over the grocery stores, the movie theaters, the nightclubs. Inside people's vehicles, inside their homes, it needs to be um, the, on your driver's license, on the back, so you can flip it up. We need it in everybody's faces all the fucking time because of the things that are going on in this world. It's ridiculous. Did y'all have this many child murders in your era? That was unheard of. I was about to say, I don't think I've heard of it like to this magnitude. Of until course, now. there's some evil and there's been some crazy always, but it seems like people are on 10 nowadays. I don't know what's with in the murders and rapes and 
and stealing and all this. But the thing that gets me the most is the murders, the killings, the sex trafficking. It's something to something. It's something going on because it. You know what it is. The rates on the Nobody's uh-huh. teaching any kind of morals or values to people anymore. They're teaching live your life like no judgment, Mm-mm. free will. I'm tell you, this this is how. I, yes, exactly. No shame. No judgment. Get out here and do what you want to do. But y'all see that that shit is not working. It's not working. Can how can we live our best lives in this world when there's so much going on? We gotta be scared to go everywhere. Grocery stores. We should all have PTSD. Church. And we're we're just desensitized by it all. You're like, oh. I don't see how people get people get through the world without doing something. Without having a drink, without being on some type of pill, without being on some type of gummy, without hitting a, a little weedy weed every now and then. I worry about some fully sober people. Y'all might be a little sick in the head, honestly. Because mm-hmm. how can you navigate this world just it's crazy every single day. Multiple times throughout the day, there's a story about somebody killing somebody. I fully believe that we should incorporate the punishments that they do in like China and places Other like countries. that. Other countries. Chop their foot off. Mm-hmm. Chop their heads off. Chop their hands nobody. off. They wouldn't kill somebody. Chop their penis off. They won't they rape, would rape somebody. somebody. Like, and mm-hmm. I bet you the rape will go down. Like, uh, I don't know if it's worth it. Uh, you know? I mean, it, it's crazy. The the And I could go on and on. I could, I could sit here right now. And read off 30 stories with somebody killing somebody. And most of them are young people. You I've seen so many right? stories lately. I'm sorry to cut you off. Okay. This guy killed his baby mama. Her friend. It, he killed a baby mama. And the two friends that came to the house with her. To, to do an exchange. To pick up their child. And then he killed himself. Why don't y'all ever kill yourselves first? You want to do that anyway. The kid is like, why you got to take somebody with you? That's how low the value is on life that people don't even want to live themselves. What about the guy I just told you about, uh, I don't know if I did the story last time, at Taco Bell. Some lady cut a guy off at the Taco Bell. I guess oh, she yeah. jumped in front of him in line. He honked his horn. She went on up to the speaker and he bumped her car from the back. That wasn't good enough. She was like, y'all call the police. This man just hit my car. The man got out the car, went up to her window, killed her. And then blew his brains out. That is crazy. Over a taco? Over taco, Taco Bell. Ooh. Not Chipotle, even though Chipotle ain't even that good either. But Taco Bell, nigga. But he had already had some problems. I was he say, had was already, already had some run ins with the law before then for drinking and driving or whatever. So I guess he was highly intoxicated. But damn, don't y'all see something's going on in this something's world? Something's going on. Something's in the water. Nobody cares. Everybody cares about sexy red. We need the Ten Commandments everywhere. Because obviously y'all don't understand about thou shall not kill, thou shall not steal, thou shall not uh, bear false witness, blah, 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 blah. Can you explain bear false witness? Lie. Lie. I figured. Mm-hmm. Well, I said it out loud. But the main thing being thou shall not kill, and Trump worrying about the immigrants coming over here, the people that I just read off about killing these children, these babies, they ain't fucking immigrants. They're Americans with American-ass parents. So what are y'all doing about the crime and the murders and everything that's taking place over here in America? What are y'all doing about that? Y'all that's doing being about committed about by Americans. Not immigrants. Americans. What are we doing about that? The real terrorists are Americans. The people you live with, live by, neighbor, live around every day your co-worker. are the fucking terrorists. I think um I think I heard a story about a Walmart managers and he just up and one they just killed like a yeah you did story. you did it that story that yeah. that might have been last year i think when that happened yeah just, i know it's somebody you work with for x amount of years you never would have expected him to do this to you he just up and just kill you one day they were in the break room get ready to have a meet and he just opened fire and then killed himself like people value life so little and i i feel like people do take life being, for granted. being spiritually grounded gives you a difference because i've been through some shit in my life You've been through some shit in your life. And despite everything that I've been through, I still find the beauty. God is so with us. We are so divinely protected and covered. I haven't been in the craziest situations. And get away, scot free, unscathed every time. Y'all need to believe in something, by the way. Need this to whole believe. atheism. You know what? Let me not even get into religion. Yeah, we're going to get into all that. But it's like, 
It's like, and then, and, 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 and when I'm driving around the streets of Georgia, just watching the way that people drive, and again, let's talk about the type of, the numerous accidents that we see on a daily basis. Oh my God, I just, they were talking about this on a breakfast club this morning. This happened in New York. These two guys just left one of these guys' bachelor party. Somebody get on the damn interstate, going the wrong way, slam into their challenger, kill both of them, Neither one of the people in the in the um the truck that did the hit, they didn't die. They jumped out and ran. One of them got caught, but they killed two guys, and one of the guys was about to get married the next day. So oh, now wow. his fiance not planning a wedding no more. She planning her fiance's funeral, and he left three children behind. That's so sad. Because he decided That's to get so on sad. a fuck. Yes, this man was finna get married. You know, it's never the ones that do I don't the, understand the that. driving or, or the, the murder that die. They never die. They always just kill their victims and live every single the time. The ones who drive fast, is. driving drunk, driving recklessly, never die. There's another story. I wonder why that is here. This, these two girls, beautiful young black girls, just graduated college, best friends since they were little, um, just about to move into an apartment together. Got killed by a drunk driver. And this dude was driving on, on a suspended license. His license had already been suspended for DUI. He killed these two girls. And he didn't die. He didn't die. Nothing happened to him. I've seen so many stories about that late, lately. People have no God in them. People have no spirituality in them. People have no moral values or compass. Everybody just out here wild, not doing everything they want. And if you stop... And you start just thinking about not what's wrong in your life. Think about what's right in your life. You woke up this morning. You had a house, a roof over your head when you woke up. If all of your children are alive, you're alive. Family members and loved ones that you love, they're alive. What the hell do you got to be depressed about? That's so true. Because life gone life. I think Jennifer Hudson lost like all her family members. She lost her mom, her brother, and her nephew. And she's still out here living. I don't know how, but she I don't is. Know how. You know what I'm saying? This girl got shot recently by this dude. She was shot 10 times and killed here in Georgia. And her sister was killed a few months before that, shot and killed as well. You know what I'm saying? We had to start thinking about the positive and the good things that we have in life. Think about the, how beautiful a sunny day is. You know what I'm saying? I get off on small things now. I don't care nothing about all these material things and the flash of cars and flash of houses because we can't take none of that shit with us. I care about the time that I have with my children. When we laugh and talk and be silly, during, that gives me joy. That makes my heart smile. When I go outside, it's beautiful outside. When I go outside, it's raining outside. When I go outside and it's snowing, I'm happy. Why? Because I get to be here. I get to have my favorite drink. I get to watch my favorite movie. I get to be with my daughter and my other children. I can call them. I can FaceTime them. I can hug them. I can kiss them. We can watch them. The little things. But you got to start having some value in yourself and some value in your life. And then people won't be doing all this killing, all this dumb shit that they yeah. do. Driving so reckless on the, on the interstate and the freeway. What that dude on that rap song say? He driving that Bentley Bentayga. Like he don't like love, I don't his love life. my life. That's yeah, a, that's yeah. the attitude. They yeah. know they doing some stupid shit, but they don't care, and they don't care who they who they're gonna affect in the end. It's just so sad. Y'all see how I just get into these tangents because boy, oh boy, I hate it as a mother, as a parent. I hate the way this fucking world is. Not even so much for me, but because my children gotta live in this mess. Your children gotta live in this mess. People don't care that it's keep popping these kids out. Yeah. You no, know, I don't respect people that's having a bunch of kids right now because the world is sick and crazy. And you know what pisses me off too the most? Trump now forcing people to keep babies wide so they can be born into this shit. Y'all making people, y'all um um making abortions illegal locking up women for having abortions or even questioning women who have miscarriages if you have a miscarriage they can lock your ass up because they're like did you really have a miscarriage or did you do something to get rid of that baby 
Why y'all forcing people to have children to bring them into this shit? Yeah. Why y'all not making the world better for these children to be born into? I force people to have the kids, then abandon the kids when they get here. Don't do nothing. Kids can't even go to say. elementary school without getting killed. Shot with AKs. Little children. Make America great again, motherfucker. You dumb as hell. Oh, and he's cool. I'm sorry, y'all. Better <laughs> Team Trump. Y'all sound so stupid. And I don't know if I said this last show, but y'all men that so for Trump all of a sudden because of a stimulus check. Did I say this last time? You Are you prepared to take care of your baby when once they ban once they ban once they ban abortion laws? Mm -hmm. Are you prepared to take care of your child? I don't think so. Y'all don't even know what y'all standing for. Y'all just following what everybody else say. I think they need to force them to take care of the pregnant mother. Then why should child support start after the baby born? Support it while she cared. Then if y'all gonna make the woman take care of the baby, and not the man. Niggas don't even take care of their kids once they get here. America don't really force them to do that. Can't really but them child support laws stupid as fuck. That'll be another topic for another day when we get into it. But come on, y'all. I'm just like, I, and I know I, I might not be delivering the message properly, but I'm just saying, y'all, we, we really need some type of mental healing, some spiritual healing. We got to do things differently in this world. We need it's a too deep much violence. Cleanse. We need a deep cleanse. We need a hard reset. I was at the doctor's office the other day, and it was a girl, 32 years old. She ready for God to come back and do the rapture and clean the world. She was like, she on home. She was like, God, you coming while my children are young? I mean, the world's so bad. It really feel like it is. needs a cleansing for real. It's it does bad. feel like the end times. I keep seeing it's videos bad. like that because they did say that the world will get wickeder and wiser. And it's so wicked. It's so over the top. You got little now. children killing each other. Killing each other. That's really scary. Planning it out. Planning out the kid. You got to hold somebody's head underwater. And do it till they stop breathing. How stop you moving. That moving. young thinking about murder. It's the word. Where's the innocence? Thank you. There's no more innocent. Innocence is lost. Innocence is lost. People not raising their children anymore. Girls either. going to middle school, high school with full lace front wigs on, looking 30 years because old. Because of their mammies. <laughs> Y'all parents, the parents don't care. They just oh, have these the kids. kids. I don't even understand why they have children because it's like they really don't want to be bothered with them. You have to raise your children. It's up to your children what they're going to do once they leave your presence. But you got to try to instill some kind of morals and values in them. You as a parent have to do that. You're supposed to be trying to mold and shape your child. My children are not perfect, but they got the basis of, I know some things that they won't do because of what they were taught. They ain't going to go hurt nobody for no damn reason. <laughs> Might give them a little tuka booga here and there, but... <laughs> I don't even know what that means. You don't worry about all that. But I ain't going to preach all night. Because I'm going to preach on another like, episode. Um, they just treat their kids like accessories. Like exactly. Like puppies. Mm -hmm. Not like they're a whole person. And what I was going to say, you remember the, the lady had her daughter doing those um, bikini wax down there? Yes, that was weird. Why you didn't have your child somewhere teaching us some value? You got her down here shaving. It was a five-year-old pussy girl, like face height to a woman coochie just waxing it. You all down? She all down in some funky, oozy vagina, giving this lady a wax. Face height. I've heard adult women talk about women who they have to get waxes too. Then it don't be all clean down there sometimes. They don't, they don't have some bad experiences. She eye level to stink vagina. Why are you going to expose your baby to that? One thing I credit my mom with, though, she had us taking Bible study at an early age. Like, she introduced us to God at a, at a very early age. And that's, I've carried that with me throughout my life. And some of the things that they taught us in Bible study, I see them coming to fruition right now. Like, so that tells me that it is a God. Like, I was a little girl, and I was like, dang, we, we talked about that in a Bible study. It's actually happened. I was always hoping I'd be long gone before the world started getting this crazy. But I, I'm very, yeah. very nervous for the future, though. If it's like this now, it's going to be it's like a 10 years. Worse. Exactly. This generation having kids, this generation coming up is dead. And right. all they do is give birth, put the children on Instagram. Oh, my goodness. And most of them... It's so many. We, we, I'm gonna have to talk about these stories later too. But it's so many women killing their children now too. Yes. Yeah. It's so many. This 
Remember, we, we lived um, uh, a little ways from here. We just moved recently, like probably a year ago. But from where we moved from, right across the street, there was an apartment complex. This lady shot her 11 year old daughter. Really? And killed herself. Really? Yeah, the Polo Club apartment. I didn't know Locked that. Locked that part out. This news. Okay. Yes, she killed her daughter and then shot and killed herself. I didn't know that. And another lady in over there, but I think this was about East Point. This might have been last year. She stabbed her child and then set her apartment on fire. She stabbed a baby like multiple times. I've seen so many stories where women be letting their boyfriends kill the children. This man right now, they just did a mistrial on him. His stepwife, I mean his um his uh his wife killed his daughter, which was her stepchild. She beat her to death with a rolling pin, and they're trying to charge him because they were like, "You didn't do enough to protect your daughter." But they had just had, came up on the mistrial that you know what I'm saying. It's so many people killing children. It's children killing children. It's it's, it's men killing these all these black women. These young black girls they get killed left and right by their boyfriends, by their baby daddies, by their exes it's, on dates. On dates. The little girl was shot at Robinson, I think her name was. No disrespect to her. I can't call her name right now. Blame her on the alcohol. Remember, she went on that first date with that white dude. And he just cut up and started spreading body parts over there. Y'all people, oh my God, why y'all not in an uproar? Like, what happened to we have the right to life, liberty, and a pursuit of happiness? Right. What, what, what the fuck happened with that? Not enough people are concerned. And that in itself is concerning. Mm-mm-mm. But anyway, we need to move out of the U.S. But yeah, well, it'll go on. We're gonna move on from this topic right now because we're gonna wrap it up. Um, with a little bit of um, we're gonna do a a word. You got a word for us today? I do have a word. Brainiac. You're the grammar police, so I don't know why you don't do this one. No, I can't even pronounce that goof word. <laughs> so the word of the day. She do like Gary yes. with a T. She get a word that she can't even pronounce. Gary with the T is on the Rick and Smiley show. The Rick and Smiley show is so hilarious. They're not paying oh. us to, to promote it. All right, so anyway. Um, I'm trying to get with them. But that's another, another story for another day. I don't want Dr. Uno Uma no more, but we'll get into that later. Why? Because he was Sukiyana? That and all the dumb shit he's saying about Kamala and Trump. I don't think he's going to come out of Trump at all. He just at coming out Kamala? He just coming out of Kamala. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it one bit. Kamala might, Kamala ain't, I ain't saying I'm a damn or a Republican. I'm just like, this nigga need to be bashed too. Trump is woo. He is wild and People treat that nigga like he is the messiah or something. I don't understand why, especially since he says whatever he wants and does whatever he wants. And the nigga been uh, convicted for sexual assault or somebody, but we don't care if, uh, if it's Diddy or R. Kelly or Bill Cosby. We care. But if it's Donald Trump, we're we going to vote for him anyway. Like, y'all <laughs> so... And it, it be the black people, too. That's what bothers me the it's most. It's the black people going here talking so about make America government. great again. It ain't never been great for your dumb ass. Y'all so simple. Ever. Well, the police can go around here and kill us like they want to and don't nothing happen. Don't nothing happen to them for killing us. And this child, anyway, go on with the word, baby, because you're going to get me back on another tangent. You know how I do. I just don't like how they ain't doing Diddy and then they're going to turn around and make Trump president. Yes! I don't like that at He's all. He's a convicted felon. You can't even vote. Diddy ain't, ain't even been convicted, at least. Yeah, nothing. Trump has been convicted. And most of us know somebody that'll whoop somebody in. I feel like he did, he did that shit. We know he did that shit, right? We know he did that. And I'm not defending him on no parts of it, but Young Miami said he ain't do that to her. Maybe he was high on fucking cocaine all the time and they was freaking out and doing all this weird shit. And he did put hands on her. They put hands on each other. We only got the, the clip of him beat her ass. But a lot of us have been in situations where we done hit a nigga and they done hit our ass back. <laughs> but I'm just saying, saying it's okay. we ain't gonna get into all that. We don't get us to this. My point is keep that same energy, but exactly that's my point too. Keep the same energy. Y'all ain't gonna let Diddy get away with it. Why y'all gonna let this man run the country? And you, we know he hate black people for a fact. Like no. you couldn't even stay in his complexes. Nope. His nephew said he he used N word, but come, come on. Go All right. So the word of the night is agnestis. See what I'm saying? She got a question mark because she don't even know if she pronouncing the right word. Agnestis. A C N E S T I S. Agnestis. That sounds like some shit you get if you're on baby, bro. 
I feel like Agnestis is um, free radicals in the air. My drink is Agnestis. <laughs> it's That's free radicals in the air. Agnestis me gone. <laughs> that means a part of the body that cannot be easily scratched, such as the middle of the back. You said that man's word in the sentence. Look, time she said that in my back started eating. <laughs> it's Agnestis. <laughs> What are you trying to look up a sentence? Yes, <laughs> they don't have it on here. Okay. They don't have it on the website. Okay. We're not gonna do this, daughter. If they you don't find a it. word, you need to already have a definition. You need to already have he a has correct discovered, pronunciation. He has discovered the dreaded agnestis itch. The agnestis like, is part like of that word. body where he cannot scratch his. I do not co-sign on this word. We will never use this damn word. <laughs> Ever. Ever. We're supposed to be expanding y'all vocabulary, but at least let's give them words that they might potentially use. Yeah. Uh. What? When I was younger, my shoulders Sorry. were so... You got know what I <laughs> When I was younger, <laughs> my shoulders were so flexible that I had no agnestis, but now like? I do. Oh, y'all know that old grease y'all say in the pot? That's what they gave. Anyway. She almost made me start coughing. I'm trying not to cough because I had that smoker's cough. She loved to blame it on that. Okay, so. Well, guys, yeah. We're just going to wrap it up here, y'all. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Y'all, I'm sorry I just got so excited. But, ooh, I just, ooh, I'm just so full of angst. Ideas. Angst. I think it's angst. Angst. Who ever said that? Salmon. I don't like unks. Like, it's no you in there at all. Turmeric. <laughs> <laughs> turmeric. Used to be like turmeric, yeah. You always trying to correct me. Oh, don't word. do that. Nigga, I'll do it all again. Right, we, like I said. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Show it here. Now it's time for so long. I don't look like We'll sing just so long. Goodbye. To you, my friends. Until For now. we meet again. Something like that. Yep, something like that. Y'all get the idea. Like, Make sure you share, like, subscribe, please. comment, share, and subscribe to our podcast. Please comment. Follow us on Instagram. They love Slim with two V's. At the author, MJL. At the author, MJL. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Peace out. Get you some spirituality. Please, find y'all something to worship other than the devil. Other than Sexy Red. Oh and Sexy Red. And no, we don't want Sexy Red for president. At all. <laughs>